The Dutch Patriot Air and Missile Defense System stands as a cornerstone of the Netherlands' national security and its contributions to NATO's collective defense. Operated by the Royal Netherlands Army's Joint Ground-Based Air Defense Command, the Patriot fleet, comprising 18 M902 Pac-3 launcher units, is a combat-proven asset designed to counter a wide spectrum of aerial threats, including tactical ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, aircraft, and drones. Since its introduction in 1987, the system has evolved through continuous modernization, reflecting the Netherlands' commitment to maintaining a robust integrated air and missile defense capability. With a radar range exceeding 150 kilometers and the ability to track up to 100 targets, the PAC-3's hit-to-kill technology ensures precision interception, making it one of the most advanced ground-based air defense systems globally. The Patriot system's origins in the Netherlands trace back to the late 1980s, when it was acquired to address growing ballistic missile threats during the Cold War's waning years. As one of only a few European NATO members, alongside Germany and Spain, with this capability, the Netherlands has leveraged the system to protect national airspace and contribute to alliance-wide security. The PAC-3 variant, currently in use, incorporates advanced radar and interceptor missiles, enabling it to engage targets at greater ranges and altitudes than earlier models. Operated from the Joint Ground-Based Air Defense Command's base in Vredepiel, the fleet is integrated with other Dutch systems like NASAMS-2 and Fennec Stinger platforms, forming a layered defense network. The Netherlands' emphasis on international cooperation, particularly with Germany, through initiatives like the Competence Center Surface-Based Air and Missile Defense at Ramstein Air Base, underscores the system's role in NATO's broader IAMD framework. Procurement of the Dutch Patriot Fleet has been a strategic process, balancing modernization with cost efficiency. The initial systems were acquired in the late 1980s, with significant upgrades implemented over the decades to extend operational life. In 2015, the Netherlands opted to modernize its PAC-3 batteries rather than invest in the medium-extended air defense system, a decision that extended the fleet's viability to at least 2040. This modernization included the modern man station user interface and enhanced radar capabilities, ensuring interoperability with NATO allies. The Netherlands has also participated in multinational procurement frameworks to acquire next-generation missiles, such as the PAC-3 GEM-T, optimizing costs and standardization. A pivotal procurement milestone occurred on January 16, 2025, when Raytheon, an RTX business unit, announced a $529 million direct commercial sale contract to supply a new Patriot fire unit, including a radar, launchers, engagement control station, and support equipment. This contract, managed by the Dutch Defense Material Organization under the Defense Material Process, aims to replenish components donated to Ukraine, reinforcing the Netherlands' commitment to both national and allied defense. Delivery of Patriot systems and components has been a carefully coordinated effort, aligning with operational needs and international commitments. The original systems were delivered in the late 1980s, with subsequent upgrades integrated between 2017 and 2021. The 2025 contract, with delivery slated for 2029, will restore the Dutch fleet to full capacity following donations to Ukraine, which included three launchers, a radar, and missiles. Raytheon's production, primarily at facilities in Andover, Massachusetts, and Huntsville, Alabama, ensures compatibility with existing Dutch infrastructure. The delivery process reflects close collaboration with NATO allies and Raytheon, emphasizing seamless integration into the Netherlands' IAMD architecture. Pete Bada, Senior Vice President of Global Patriot at Raytheon, highlighted the partnership's significance, stating, Raytheon is committed to partnering with the Dutch as they continue to advance their integrated air and missile defense capabilities. This ongoing investment ensures the Dutch Patriot fleet remains a cutting-edge asset for decades to come. 
The deployment of Dutch Patriot systems demonstrates their versatility in both national and international contexts. Domestically, one system is permanently stationed to protect critical infrastructure, such as the Rotterdam port, a vital economic hub. The remaining systems are based at Vreda Peel, but are frequently deployed abroad to support NATO and allied missions. Historical deployments include the 1991 and 2003 Gulf Wars, where Dutch Patriots countered ballistic missile threats, and a 2013-2015 mission in southern Turkey to defend against Syrian missile risks, involving over 200 personnel. In 2022, the Netherlands and Germany jointly deployed Patriots to Slovakia to bolster NATO's eastern flank, with 105 to 200 Dutch personnel involved. Most notably, the Netherlands has donated significant Patriot components to Ukraine, including two launchers and missiles in January 2023, a radar and three additional launchers in 2023-2024, and further missiles in October 2023. These donations, while reducing Dutch operational capacity temporarily, underscore the system's critical role in supporting international stability. The role and purpose of the Dutch Patriot fleet are multifaceted, encompassing national defense, NATO collective security, and support for allies. Nationally, the system safeguards Dutch airspace and infrastructure against advanced threats, integrating with F-35 aircraft and other air defense platforms to create a robust defense umbrella. Within NATO, the Patriot fleet contributes to the integrated air and missile defense system, enhancing deterrence against state and non-state actors. Its combat-proven track record, demonstrated in conflicts like the Gulf Wars in Ukraine, reinforces its value in countering complex raid attacks and advanced missiles. The system's deployments to conflict zones and donations to Ukraine highlight the Netherlands' commitment to Allied support, while its advanced PAC-3 capabilities, capable of intercepting targets with high-speed, hit-to-kill technology, ensure a credible deterrent. Deployed across 19 countries, the Patriot remains a backbone of global air defense, with the Netherlands fleet playing a pivotal role in Europe's security architecture. Recent updates to the Dutch Patriot fleet reflect the Netherlands' proactive response to evolving geopolitical challenges. The donations to Ukraine, including a proposed joint system delivery with another ally in September 2024, have strained Dutch readiness, prompting the 2025 Raytheon contract to restore capacity. These contributions, while critical for Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression, have required the Dutch Ministry of Defense to accept temporary operational risks. The $529 million contract, finalized in January 2025, ensures that the Netherlands can replenish its fleet by 2029, maintaining its four-system capacity despite one being dedicated to Rotterdam. The Netherlands' increased defense spending, projected to exceed $20 billion in 2024-2025 and meet NATO's 2% GDP target, supports these investments. However, reported hesitancy from Germany in contributing to a joint Patriot delivery for Ukraine in 2024 highlights challenges in Allied coordination, necessitating independent Dutch action to meet commitments.